Hello, everybody. Um, today we are going to make um, some coin purses. And um, this is going to be a really simple project. And I promise you that you can actually do this from start to finish in probably around 20 minutes. Okay? So um, let's get started. I'll tell you what you're going to need for the project. So we are going to start with um, four pieces of fabric. You need to have outer fabric. You need to make sure you have some inner fabric. I have two pieces here. Then what you're going to need is you are going to need this interface. It is called Pelon and it's 809, number 809. Okay, and what this is, is this is going to add some body inside of your bag, a little bit of thickness to keep it nice and sturdy. Okay, so I'll let you know about this in just a moment. You're also going to need um, a little bit of scrap um, for which we're going to create tab, um, a tab for um, the end of your pouch. So it's going to be this little portion right here. I'll give you the measurements for this as well. Okay, so a little piece of scrap that you have. It doesn't have to be the exact fabric you have here. If you do have extra fabric, that's good. If you don't, just choose a coordinating color to go along with that. Okay, you're going to need a zipper. Okay, whatever size you are going to make your coin pouch, you just need to make sure your zipper is a little bit longer than that. Okay, again, I'll tell you the dimensions I'm using, but you can make this um, into a zipper pouch if you wanted to by making it longer. You can make it wider, anything that you would like. Okay, the, the directions will still be the same. You'll need one of these little tabs. Okay, these are the um, circle rings. Um, so you can buy these in the store as well. Okay. Um, you can actually, just like a key ring, that's what that is. This is optional. Um, you don't need to have this. However, um, it is a nice addition to have because if you would like to, when you're done with the coin pouch, um, put it onto the coin pouch like this, you'll be able to hook this to something if you want it to. But again, this is not mandatory. It's just optional. Okay. The other thing you want to make sure that you have is get that handy dandy chopstick. Um, I love that. Get you some snippers or have your um, scissors handy if you don't have the snippers. Okay. I love using my um, 18 inch ruler that I cut with and I use it along with my rotary cutter um, for you to cut your fabric. Um, if you don't have the rotary cutter, then just use a plain pair of scissors. That will be fine as well. Okay. All right. So the first thing that we're going to do, you're going to take the two outer fabrics. Well, take the outer fabric and the inner fabric that you have and cut yourself a square. This is five inches by five inches. And again, you can use any size that you want to. I used five inches across by five inches going down. Okay. Cut the same amount for your inner fabric. <clears throat> Sorry, guys. For the inner fabric. And then for the Pelon interface, the 809, cut you two pieces of this as well. Okay. I have already ironed my interface onto the back of my outer fabric. Okay. When you look at the interface, one side looks dull. The other side looks very shiny. See that? That's the glue. Okay. That's the glue on there. So what you're going to do is take your outer fabric right side, place it face down, take your shiny side that has the glue on it, place the shiny side down onto the wrong side of that fabric. See that? That's the pretty side. That's the good side. That's the wrong side. It's already glued on. So put the shiny part onto the wrong side of the fabric, flip it back over, and then iron down on this right side of the fabric. 
okay? You don't want to iron onto the interface because it will pull at it and, and rip it and make it really weak, okay? So, um, interface should go on the opposite side of your outer fabrics. Once you have that, you'll have two pieces that looks like this, okay? All right, at that point, you are ready to head over to the sewing machine, okay? So take your inner fabric with you, take your zipper and your outer fabric. Let's go sew. Okay guys, so we are um, at the table now, okay? So I have a scrap piece of fabric that is three inches wide, okay? What we are going to do with this is create a tab, <clears throat> create a tab so that um, we can use it for the ring to go, um, for this to go through the ring on the coin purse. Okay, so you should have three inches wide. It doesn't matter by, by how long, that's a preference. Okay, so you should have it out flat, fold it into the middle um, with one side, Take your other side and bring it in to meet that point in the middle. And then just fold it over one more time. Okay, once you have done that, go over to your iron, flatten it down so that it gets to be a nice flat portion like this. Okay, and now what we're going to do is we are going to sew the edges of this tab <clears throat> about one eighth of an inch from the ends okay you'll have one part here that's folded okay and then you'll have these nice pretty edges that you have created beautiful seams with okay so you're going to sew both sides of that tab okay i am sewing on 3.0 again for my stitches Okay, so your tab should look like this, okay, with both sides sewn down the edge. Go ahead and put that to the side for a few minutes, okay? And now what we're going to do is get your inner fabric, okay, whatever size you decided to do, okay? Put the pretty side, the right side of your fabric facing up, okay? And just put it right down flat. Take your zipper. And what you're going to do is line up the raw edge of your zipper with the raw edge of that fabric on the pretty side. Okay. Now what I want you to do is take one of your outer fabrics. Okay. Turn it over so that your pretty side is going to face your pretty side on your lining. Right sides together. Pretty sides mean right sides together. Okay, so turn it over and we're going to line up this um, raw edge to meet the others. Don't worry if your interface is not perfect. Okay, I ironed a bunch of these at one time. I cut and, you know, this is nothing. Don't worry, you won't even see that when your project is complete. Okay, so pretty side, facing pretty side, line up those raw edges. <clears throat> line up those raw edges. Okay, and then what you're going to do, hmm, just pin that just to hold it in place for you. Okay, you only need one pin just because the size of your um, project that you're, that you're working on here. So what you should have, it should look like this. Okay, that's what you should have. Go ahead and now what we're going to do, I use my walking foot. I'm going to show you how I do this. I never, ever use my zipper foot, okay? So what I'm going to do is I am going to line up my walking foot, this edge of my walking foot. I am going to line that up with this part of my zipper. I'm going to get as close as I can. I just don't like taking time to change the zipper foot. So I've learned how to sew using that handy dandy walker foot, walking foot. I love it. Okay, so let's put this underneath, okay? Put this underneath. 
look at what I'm doing, guys. You see this? My walking foot, it's it's riding up right along the zipper here. Okay? I also um, have come to learn that my needle, my walking foot, has a little guide marker here. This guide marker is going to line up with the edge of this fabric the entire way. So I'm going to know my zipper is straight and correct two ways. One, because I'm keeping the walking foot lined up right along as close as possible, riding right up next to the zipper. Even though you can't see it, you can feel it if you run your hand over it. The other way is because that guide marker there is going to ride right along my outer fabric. Okay, with the raw edges. Okay, so look, this is what we're going to do. Remember to backstitch. I'm backstitching. You always want to backstitch when you start and stop. Okay, hold your pieces together. Look at my walking foot. It's riding right up alongside this, right up alongside the zipper. I'm going to now remove this pin because I don't need it. I'm just going to check and I'm going to take my pieces just to make sure that they're um, staying together, lined up, okay? And continue sewing. I'm at the end, I'm going to backstitch. Okay, so go ahead and remove it. Okay. Now what we're going to do, let's um, open up those pieces so your material should look like this. You're going to fold your fabric so that both of your sides are facing and now you're looking at the pretty side of your fabric finger press this finger press it because what we want to do now is we want to create a top stitch okay so if you finger press it you don't have to go over to the iron okay so finger press that down okay and now look at what we're going to do you are going to Put this underneath your walking foot again. What you're going to do is create a nice pretty top stitch on the top here. Not only does it make it look professional, but what it does is it keeps this inner fabric from gathering up underneath your zipper when you open and close um, the coin purse. Okay? Mm. All right, look at this. This is the part that we're working on right now creating a nice pretty top stitch, okay? All right, so let's do that. I have another trick to show you. So go ahead, put it underneath your walking foot, and what I want you to do, you're going to put your walking, put your lever down, and now there's one guide marker here, the first guide marker, not the second one, but the first one. Your fabric here, line up your fabric here, all the way across, with that first guide marker. That's going to ensure that you get a straight stitch all the way across. Okay, all the way across. Okay, go ahead and lift your lever. You can remove that. I do have a automatic cutter. I have a cutter back there. I never use it. So I do love this brother, but um, I don't use the cutter. Okay, so here is your stitch. You see? If you use the first guide marker, it will line you up perfect. And you're going to do the same thing for the other side when we get to that. Okay, so uh, I just need to take out that... Okay, there we go. I can cut my stragglies. I'll cut them when we're done. Okay, so it looks beautiful. Now we're going to do the other side of the zipper pouch because look at what we have. Right now we have this side of the zipper pouch. We have, see the zipper is pulling this way? See that? That's the part that we have right now. But now we need to create that part. Okay, so you're going to go back, follow the same steps. We're putting liner face up, pretty side face up. You're going to make pretend this fabric is not even here. What you want is the zipper part. But notice now that you have this pretty side attached to your zipper, what you want to do is you want the zipper facing the opposite way now. So before your zipper was facing this way, but we have to... 
we have to get that other side of the fabric sewn, okay? So what you're going to do is make sure that zipper is facing the other way, okay? Line up the raw edges, and then what we need to do is get that pretty side fabric again. Now, depending on what fabric you have, just make sure that you're paying attention to your pattern because pattern placement is very important, okay? So you wanna make sure that your pictures are going the same way. If you notice this, it's okay that I don't have the whole picture over here. What I'm concerned with is the fact that one, the spaceship is facing the same way. See, that's the front of the spaceship. That's the front of the spaceship. Up here, it did say Star Wars, but I cut that fabric, but I know that Wars, my fabric is the right way. Okay, so everything else doesn't matter. Star Wars is on this fabric across and down, but I'm concerned about the picture, okay? So I wanna make sure that I don't do this and put this pretty side to pretty side because then my pattern is upside down, okay? So be careful of your pattern placement, okay? So I'm going to flip this over so that pretty sides are pretty, facing pretty sides and I'm going to put it right back here um, in the... Um, with the walking foot, okay, if you need to pin, go ahead and pin. I'm not going to pin, okay? Be sure you backstitch, okay? Make sure these are together. Look at that. My raw edges are all lined up, which means that I did a good job cutting. Okay. And again, I'm riding right up next to the zipper. I'm also, I can also see here from the little notch that I am keeping lined up with this fabric. Okay. So I know my edges are going to be even. Okay, so you can remove it. And at this point, we're going to open up the fabric again. Okay, and we're going to do another one of those finger presses. The same thing that we did on the left side, we're going to do to the right side. We want to finger press this. It, it's a lot quicker than going over to the iron, guys. Trust me, a lot quicker, okay? And then what we're going to do is we're going to turn this around because we want that guide marker to help us so that we get the same amount of spacing that we did here from here to there. We want it to be even on this side. So I just flip this around so that I know that I can use the guide marker to help me get the same distance, okay? All right, so here we go. I'm back underneath the walking foot. And again, I'm lined up. Right now, the guide marker, notice it's riding right along the line, okay? Right along the, the pretty fabric line. And I'm going to backstitch. And I'm lifting and taking it from underneath the foot. Okay, look. Look at that, you see, it's even. It's the same distance from the fold to where I actually stitched it. It's the same on both sides because I use that guide marker. That's why they're there. They're there to help you, so be sure to use them. Okay, so now what we're going to do, if you lay your fabric out like this, what we wanna do is now get, put your pretty sides together, inner fabrics together, okay? But now here's the trick. We want to close this up, okay? That's going to be the outer part of your pouch, okay? But we need to do two things. The first thing we're going to do is we are going to open up the zipper, okay? Open up the zipper. You definitely want to make sure you don't forget this because if you forget it, there's no way for you to turn your coin purse inside out, okay? So slide that down, okay? Make sure that your zipper just goes to the side. You want your zipper facing um, to your lining, okay? Put a pin, okay, to hold your lining pieces together, okay? Notice that all my ends are even, okay? So what I want is to make sure that when I put them under, underneath the walking foot in order to sew under the needle that they stay even, 
Okay, I'm going to put this pin here just to hold this. Okay, the other thing we want to do right now is go ahead and grab that tab that we did. Okay, and what we want to do is take that ring and we're just going to slide this ring, um, slide the ring through um, the tab that you just created. It doesn't matter how fat you do, it doesn't matter how thin you do it, okay? I use three inches wide and then fold them over. Okay, so here's what we wanna do. We wanna insert your tab at the point where, at the um, back side of your zipper. You know the back side of your zipper because of this. Look at the tail, okay? This is the point that we want to put this at, okay? So go ahead, what you're going to do, the ring part goes inside of the pretty fabric. You're sewing inside out, okay? So put it inside and put it at the top. So just about a quarter of an inch from the top, okay? And then what you're going to do, go ahead and put a pin to hold it. Okay, when you get good, you don't have to pin, but um, for right now, go ahead and put a pin in order to hold it, okay? So now you're ready to sew and close this up, okay? Let's start folding on, um, sewing on the lining. I like sewing on the lining because um, I like to sew continuously, and if you start over here, then you can't, you have to stop over here, okay? So what you're going to do is start sewing from about right here. Start sewing at about right here, and then you're going to go down, um, get to your end, pivot, sew all the way down, all the way around, all the way around, come back to the, your bottom part of the lining, and stop about right here. You need to make sure that you leave at least three inches. I mean, I use the two finger rule. You can use the three if you want to, but just make sure you leave a gap here so that we can turn this the right way. Okay, so this is this shifted once I put the tab in. Hold on. Okay. Okay, so let's do it. I am starting down here at the bottom. All I did was line my walking foot up right here right at the end with the edge of my fabric and i'm back stitching of course i'm big on back stitching okay. Get to the end pivot and turn when you get to your zipper go over your zipper and then go back again um i'll show you go over the zipper and then back stitch to go over your zipper again you want to make sure you're going to be opening and closing opening and closing your zipper a lot so you just want to give it an extra stitch to make sure that um that it's strong okay. oh i forgot to mention um I use nylon stitchers, uh, um, stitchers, <laughs> nylon polyester zippers. And the reason for that is because you can sew over them and you can cut them. So I'll show it to you when we're done. Um, you cannot sew over the metal zippers, just so you know. Um, that's a whole separate video. <laughs> but, okay, here we go. Going all the way down. Get to the end turn look at that i knew just where to turn and i'm at the edge of my fabric okay you should be coming up to your tab right now you're gonna go over your tab don't worry it's not thick at all i'm back stitching over it because i always like to give it um, a little bit of sturdiness extra sturdiness we're going to continue over remember if you need to when you're going over your zipper go a little bit slower um, you don't have to rush. Remember to back stitch. Go again. Okay. Continue all the way down. Okay. And turn. All right, guys. You are almost done. No kidding. I back stitch, and now it's coming from underneath the foot. Okay. So now what I'm going to do, um, remove your pins, remove your pins. Okay. The part that I mentioned to you about the zippers, um, 
I'll show you why in one moment. Okay, so what you want to do right now, you want to clip the ends of your fabric, the corners of your fabric. Okay, clip those. What it does is this reduces bulk in the corners of your fabric, um, just so that when you turn it, it's not bulky and bunchy down here. You don't want it to be bulky and bunchy. Okay? So what I like to do also is I like to just cut some of that excess from around the sides. And look at this. This is what you can do with all-purpose zippers with nylon, um, with polyester zippers. You can cut them. Um, you saw how easy that was? Okay. And now I'm going to um, cut this side. Do, 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 do. You can actually cut that extra fabric around um, off that you use for the tab as well. You don't need it. Okay. Now, this is the part, this is what you do. You don't need to cut off these stragglies. Um, you can if you want to. It's no big deal. This is going to be in the inside of your coin purse. Okay. Okay. So now, stick your fingers inside. Stick your fingers inside. And remember that open zipper that we opened? That's how you're able to stick your fingers through because we pulled that zipper all the way over. Okay? So what I'm just doing, I stuck my two fingers in and I'm just going to push, <clears throat> push this in between my two fingers. And I'm just, look at this. This is all I'm doing is pulling. Okay? All right. Now, stick your fingers in. Poke out your corners. This is your liner. Okay, poke out your corners. Now what you want to do is stick those fingers back. Keep them inside. Poke out the fabric that's here in the corner for your outer fabric. Poke down the corners here. All right, that's my, that's my pointer finger. I'm doing the same thing over here. Okay, see that? Or the handy dandy chopstick. Okay, what I do like to do is actually after I have um, used the butt part of your chopstick, stick it into the corners um, and just make sure I have fat fingers. So I just like to use this to make sure that I got everything the right way. Okay, so now we're almost done, we're almost done. What we need to do is we need to close up this um, liner right here. Okay, and that's what we're going to do right now. We're going to close up the liner so what we're going to do is um, just sew a straight line, about one eighth of an inch, go close to your edge, just so that um, we close up the hole. Okay. snipping and again I love these snippers because the snippers are pointier than actual scissors okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm sticking that liner right inside okay and it looks great the only thing you have to do now is put the iron over it okay so go flatten that iron out um, I mean go flatten out the fabric go hit it with the iron do the front and do the back so your lining inside um, actually gets um, straight and so it's not wrinkled inside but look you've created a coin purse okay there's that pretty lining that pretty uh stitch line that top stitch that you did okay and again you can make these any size that you want to Okay, so go ahead, um, use the same method to create a makeup pouch, to create a zipper pouch for makeup brushes, um, for your uh, toiletries, um, Q-tips, traveling bag, anything you want to like that. Okay, this is a great project for scraps. All right, guys, so that's all for now, and um, I will see you uh, for the next tutorial. That's all.